Greetings and welcome to Firestorm Gaming Thriving on Europa. I was asked to do some more detailed videos on some of the aspects uh, within the base. So today I'll be talking about gases and using them in the hydroponics bay that is through there. So let's start. This temperature gauge is connected to the tank, which is insulated. This pipework is all insulated up to the valve, and this valve, and that wall. What that means is all the hot gases can flow along to here and stop, and when I want them to, I can put them into here. And that goes all the way inside, through the pipe to the tank and it stops there. Now what we'll do is we'll smelt up some steel. We've got 70.2 that will probably go up to nearly 200 so let's just smelt some steel. Now I use four volatile and four oxide. A lot of people use three. I prefer four. Put the white dot so you just get the green and then press Alt. That keeps your camera position. Volatiles in, one, two, three, four. Oxide in, one, two, three, four. And then some iron ore in. And you'll see now that that is being smelted down. Get the other ingredients ready. And you can probably also smelt some gold afterwards, possibly. That's nearly done, so look for the top, you'll see it, there we go. So we want the other iron in. That needs to be 600 in order to produce steel, and we don't have to worry about pressure. And that's really nearly done, we'll stick the coal in, there. As soon as that's ready, it will say steel at the bottom. Pull the lever, and there's our, our steel. Now we've still got quite a bit of temperature there, so we'll stick some gold in. Leave this arm open, and as soon as the gold is done, it will drop out the bottom. You could also do some copper in there as well. And there we have it. Now, all the gases in here and the temperature stop at that point. So what we'll do is, let's just transfer that over for a minute. Once we turn this volume pump on, which you can increase or decrease up with the wheel, I've increased it to max, which is 100 litres. All the gases and the heat will go down and into that tank and you should be able to see it rapidly increase in temperature. Let's have a look what's going on inside. Here we go. That gives us a good amount of temperature. So we could stop that. We can leave that going until this reaches naught pressure and naught temperature. But we'll leave that for now. Now obviously 235 degrees C is too hot to go into this room. Uh, so the gases can't be used at the moment. These gases are all connected to all the filtration systems but stop there. And obviously goes into the tank. Now this valve stops the uh, gases being able to connect with these gases in this pipe work with the radiators. Now if you look at the bottom right of your screen you'll see that the temperature outside is at minus 149 so what the radiators want to do is get the outside temperature to the inside. So let's look at what that is at the moment. See that's minus 149 at the moment. 
So if we connect them up, we will now see that temperature rapidly drop. Whilst that's dropping, I'll show you the rest of the setup for the hydroponics and I suppose I'll best replenish my battery. Now the pipework is connected to all the filtration. Runs all the way along here to these two tanks. Now these are the two main tanks that we want um, stuff from. This is the water tank and the CO2 tank. Now they are connected by pipes to two volume pumps in here. Pointing into the room. So when I require water, I can turn the water pump on. When I require CO2, I can turn the CO2 pipe on. And see what's in there at the moment 105 moles and 26.9 temperature let's see what we've got down to so far 136 so we still need that to go down to just above 30 just above 30 I will go through filtration systems and airlock and temperature control in another video but for now what we'll do is we'll wait for this to go down and then uh, I will come back now to do all the other uh, ores and smelt them down I will leave a picture that you can screenshot of all the necessary ingredients the pressure and the temperature required. And welcome back. So we're just about where we need to be on temperature. So let's go and turn this off. And it's 29.4. Now you can see that that's stabilized. And so we can now take this temperatured or decrease temperature gases and filter them. So let's go and do that. This power switch connects to all the filtration. Don't leave your filtration on all the time. It wastes the filters. Just as and when you require gases. So let's turn it on, now it's 29.4 and you'll see slight increase in temperature on the CO2 tank but what it also tells me is there's no water in the system because that didn't move. In order to get water into the system all you need to do is melt ice in the furnace and then when you get all the temperature right and send it in it will filter water for you so let's turn that off now let's see what's in the CO2 tank as you can see it's 29 degrees and we've got a thousand point one four moles of CO2 now to use that we want to use our CO2 pump but what's in here? What's the consistency? Do we need CO2 or not? In here, this is a pipe analyzer connected to a pipe in the other room. On the same wall. And at two ends is a passive vent. So it means that that pipe analyzer is pi analyzing the room gases and at the moment it's showing 0.9 C mol of carbon dioxide so let's have a little bit more so let's turn the CO2 pump on and you'll see there's an increase of CO2 
also a slight increase in the pressure. Now we can keep doing this and get as much CO2 in there as we want and if the pressure gets too much then we can use our flush pump and that will take the gases out and back into this pipe to be filtered again by the system. So you can see the hydroponics room now is at a nice temperature. These gases could still be used if there was any in there, but we just smelt some more things and go through the same process. Well, I hope you've enjoyed uh, watching this and it's answered a few questions. Uh, I know it stumped me for a while. You can also use this system to heat this whole room up early to start with because it will start from minus 150. So you can quite rapidly heat it up once you have everything in place. Now if you want to watch how I set all this lot up you can look at my past videos uh, that are speeded up and it shows you how I placed it and that kind of stuff. Other videos to follow the fast airlock or manual airlock setting up temperature control so that we keep this at an even temperature and then how to set up the aquaponics in here and last but not least we will do a video on some solar energy but that's all for now in this video I hope it's been short enough and you've got what you needed from it I'd really appreciate um, some likes and subscribe if you want to get any more and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.